I'm gonna talk now about um, lighting systems. Um, I'm gonna be referring to in this particular case to the Philips Hue system which is uh, the one that allows uh, me to interact through uh, my Amazon Echo and Alexa with my lights in my house. Um, there are different um, lights, light bulbs out there which are also uh, um, good too like uh, uh, Leaf X um, are also a very popular one and they work with uh, the Amazon Echo as well. Um, I believe uh, there are two or three more kinds which uh, like I said, when you are in this uh, home automation, you have to stick yourself to one platform and uh, one kind. And uh, so far, the Philips Hue light bulbs have worked with me uh, for me very well, and that's why I use them. Uh, some other light bulbs might be a little bit cheaper, and that's why uh, uh, some people choose them. Some people retract from buying uh, these kind of light bulbs because the upfront cost is quite high. Each light bulb costs around $60, but uh, you have to take in consideration that these light bulbs, they uh, um, consume 80% less power than uh, a regular light bulb. Um, their expected life uh, span is of uh, 10 to 15 years. Um, so technically, ideally, you will not be replacing your light bulbs in a very long time. Um, and also, well, you have the capability to uh, um, changing the intensity of your uh, lights and uh, the color. The way it works is uh, normally you buy a starter kit. It comes with a Philips Hue bridge and it comes with um, three light bulbs. Uh, you can either, you can find two versions of the starter kit, uh, which is the Lux kit, which uh, comes with three uh, light bulbs that they only um, turn white, they don't uh, change colors and um, you have the other starter kit which comes with uh, three light bulbs that um, are the color changing ones and um, uh, obviously the Lux uh, starter kit is a little bit uh, less expensive. Um, the one I'm looking at right now is uh, the first generation of the Philips Hue um, the only difference with the second generation is that um, it allows uh, HomeKit integration, which is the protocol that uh, Apple uses to allow uh, Siri in your iPhone to talk to your lights uh, and change uh, your scenes um, through Siri. So um, in this case, since I am mostly interested in um, interacting with my lights with my Amazon Echo, I haven't uh, had the really need to, to uh, upgrade to the second generation. Uh, the first generation works well with uh, Alexa and um, that's why I decided to, or at least I don't have any plans to upgrade anytime soon. Uh, the first generation works quite well. You have uh, different kinds of light bulbs. Here you can see um, the different kinds they, they sell. Um, they have the A26 or A19s they have the floodlight type, the BR30s, and they have also uh, these other two kind of uh, spotlight um, light bulbs, the uh, PAR16 and the GU10s. Um, there are different kinds of uh, lighting systems. Uh, in the case of um, the Hue, the way it works is uh, the Hue bridge uses the SIGB protocol to talk to the uh, lights in your house. And the way you communicate to them is uh, you use your phone to uh, send a command or um, change the color of your lights and you send this command to your hue bridge. The hue bridge then um, converts this command and uh, talks to each of the light bulbs that you might have in your house and then it makes it execute uh, the command that you want uh, uh, your lights to do. Um, it uses the concept of a mesh network, so that means that uh, as long as the bridge uh, sees one um, light bulb, um, as you keep building up your uh, network of lights, uh, they don't have to see directly the hue bridge to work. Every light bulb works as a repeater, and um, as long as they see each other, uh, it, it sees uh, different light bulbs, in, it has a light bulb in range, you will be able to uh, still work and communicate with the 
uh, hue breach uh, in your uh, system and that will that makes the network of uh, your lights in your house very reliable and um, you can extend your range that way as long as um, you have several light bulbs distributed all uh, all across your house this uh, in this case you um, uh, need uh, the light bulb and if you want to use the hue bridge uh, sorry the hue lights uh, light bulbs you have to consider um, installing one light bulb per uh, socket or um, a spot where you want to install it in your house now there are other kinds um, other brands that deal with uh, in-wall switches like uh, Wemo or uh, Insteon in which uh, the way they work is that you install the in-wall switch and um, the communication hub in this case we're gonna say uh, for example Insteon you um, tell your Insteon hub to uh, turn on the uh, lights and uh, the instant hub tells the in-wall switch to turn on and off your light regardless of the light bulb you can have any light bulb installed uh, at your lamp or your um, uh, fan and on, on, on the on the in the on the ceiling and uh, the instant hub acts directly on the switch not on the light bulb and um, that's a different kind of uh, way some light systems work which um, I will later talk about how Instion works with uh, how you can automate your lights with an Instion hub, which is the one that is next to my Apple Airport Extreme station right here. And uh, if you are not interested in uh, changing light colors and you just want a way to control your lights, turning turning them on and off, and uh, then probably you would be more interested in. Uh, having an instant solution instead of a Philips Hue and um, uh, the advantage of Instion is as well that you can uh, Instion also allows uh, control through the Amazon Echo so it's that's why I have it too because I don't have a lot of Instion devices right now but at least um, I was experimenting with it and at least now I can I know that if I want some uh, in-wall switches like a regular light switch on the wall I can just buy an Instion one and I can control it uh, um, with Alexa as well. Anyways, I uh, deviated a little bit out of the Philips Hue. So uh, this is how the Philips Hue uh, bridge looks like. When um, you start your system up, the first thing it asks you is that you come and uh, when uh, you um, create your account at the Hue website um, and you uh, launch the app, um, it asks you to press uh, the big button in the center to kind of pair your hub to uh, to your phone and that allows uh, you to start using your lights all throughout your house. So this is how uh, the Philips uh, Hue Bridge uh, basically works. Here I'm in the upper level of my house and I have uh, several different Hue light bulbs installed and uh, uh, these are the light strips that I was talking about you can uh, stick them practically um, behind uh, in counters or shelves or whatever and then uh, when they work at night they look really nice they uh, light up um, your area and it's a very nice decorative uh, scene that you can have and um, you don't see it from far away and if you see down uh, underneath your device that's how you see that your light strip is installed and uh, the first generation of these light strips um, it was a little bit uh, limited that uh, um, for example this uh, one that I have on, on, on top of my sink in the kitchen um, the space was smaller than the original length of the Hue light strip so I had to cut it to make it fit and the only bad part about that is that obviously you are limiting now your strip when you cut it the part that you cut is you're not going to be able to use anymore so that was a bad part at the beginning now um, in the second generation they have a second generation of light strips now they uh, they sell the, the main um, strip the main segment 
and now you can buy extensions so if you want uh, a longer extension or segment of a light for whatever it is that you want to use it for now you have the possibility to interconnect uh, segments and uh, work with uh, longer pieces of uh, lights if, uh, if that's what you require now in my bedroom I have also another um, set of lights uh, installed here as well so um, right now uh, I uh, I have uh, quite a few installed in my bedroom as well I like it very much and um, they have uh, direct uh, native support uh, for the Amazon Echo so you can uh, basically um, use Alexa to uh, interact with your lights. Alexa, turn off the bedroom. Okay. Alexa, turn on the bedroom. Okay. Alexa, set bedroom to 50%. Okay. Alexa, set bedroom to 100%. So that's uh, what you can natively do with uh, your uh, lights. Uh, now uh, I just discovered uh, an Alexa skill which is uh, very good, I like it a lot. It's called Stringify. You uh, use an app and you control and you build flows so that you can uh, uh, tell um, your Amazon Echo to do different things and one of them is uh, uh, to change the color of your lights. I found that very useful and it works really nice and um, I have that set up uh, in uh, my house as well. Alexa, tell Stringify to run bedroom relax. Running bedroom relax. So that changes the color of my lights to green. Alexa, Tell Stringify to run bedrooms light bright. Running bedroom lights bright. That turns my lights to full intensity when I need a little bit more of illumination. Alexa, tell Stringify to run movie night. Running movie night. So that sets all my lights to a blue uh, color so that I can uh, watch uh, a movie and lights are in a different uh, setting. Alexa, tell Stringify to run bedroom chill. Running bedroom chill. Alexa, tell Stringify to run bedroom chill. Running bedroom chill. That little light didn't respond last time. I have my Hue Tap switch, which uh, is my um, contingency element in case uh, my phone doesn't work, in case uh, my Amazon Echo is not available. I still have a mechanical device to interact with my lights. It's very nice because you attach it. Um, it's it, it um, adheres to your wall. You don't have to drill uh, your wall. Um, it has a uh, adhesive uh, strip on the back, so you put it on your wall, and um, it, you can program three different um, scenes onto them, and you can have all different uh, uh, as many as you want around in your house, and um, it's a very nice way to control your lights as well. Um, the 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 switch is removable, so you can take it uh, wherever you want. It still works. Uh, you uh, control all your lights uh, in case you feel like taking it for for a walk or like uh, moving it to a different uh, position um, location in your house. Um, it doesn't require any batteries, it works with the mechanical force that you apply every time you push the button, so that's very nice also. And um, that's uh, how the lights work. Um, there are quite a few nice apps for um, 
interacting with your lights if you don't interact with uh, your Amazon Echo.